Hello, this is another video that I have made for demonstration purposes. I'm going to take a sample LP problem and solve it graphically and by simplex method and then I will uh, show where the actual extreme points are on the plot and how we are moving from one extreme point to an adjacent extreme point and this uh, demonstration hopefully will get you a better understanding of uh, the goal and the, the biology and you can connect them visually together. Well, the problem that I'm taking is a two-dimensional problem that has uh, five constraints. I'm going to just plot the feasible region to see how it looks. I will start plotting them constraints one by one to the plot until I have completed my final drawing and I have my feasible region. This is the final um, plot and it is the complete feasible region. I'm going to put ABC around the feasible points and I will draw the Z line and I will slide it to the optimal solution which is point D. After point D has been identified we want to start solving the problem through simplex method. First of all I have to add the slack variables to the problem. All these uh, constraints were less than or equal sign, so I will be adding slack variables S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5 to the problem, which obviously will be the best choice for uh, my basic feasible solution, starting basic feasible solution. I will be using the same template that I have developed in an earlier video. My XB will be S1, S2, S3, S4, associated B and CB are identity matrix and for the CB it's all zero. And my starting tableau will look like this. I have S1 to S5 as my basic feasible solution and this represents X1 and X2 zero which is the point of origin. The solution of course is not optimal because I have negative values on the zero and the most negative value belongs to x2 so x2 will be my entering variable. My minimum ratio has been calculated for those values and don't forget that for that zero and negative three under the column of x2. I will not calculate any mean ratio. The minimum happens to be at the S3, so X2 will enter and will replace X3 in the basis. So I, have, I will have S1, S2, X2, S4, and S5. This is the solution represents X1 equals 0 and X2 equals 2, which is point B on my plot. Now the solution is still not optimal, therefore I have to do another iteration. I will do my regular calculations for mean ratio. Uh, X1 will enter into the basis and based on the mean ratio value, S2 will leave the basis. So my next basis will have X1 replacing S2.
in the next basis on moving obviously to an adjacent extreme point from B, an adjacent extreme point, and this will be the next tableau. As you notice, S1, X1, X2, S4, and S5 are my bases based on the calculations and the regular rules. S3 is entering and S1 is leaving. So my next basis will have S3 replacing S1. And of course, this is point C in my calculation. Finally, I will end up with the final solution. And this final solution uh, consists of the optimal solution and this optimal solution um, consists of S3, X1, X2, S4, and S5. There is no negative values in the zero, and that is the optimal solution, and that's the point D. So we started from point A, went to an adjacent extreme point, point B, that was my second tableau, from there, I went to the uh, the other extreme, adjacent extreme point, and it was point C. And finally, I ended up at point D, which was my final optimal solution. That's it, and it certainly deserves a celebration. Enjoy the fireworks.